Hi everyone, Glenn from Solutions 8 here, and here we are in the Solutions 8 test kitchen. It's actually physically my kitchen <laughs> that I've got my office set up in. Um, but this is where I'll be um, running tests, experimenting with things, playing with things. And what I wanted to do is shoot you a quick video on how I use the Natural Language API tool um, from Google and incorporate that um, with ChatGPT with some other um, tools. This is for copy and in particular finding positive copy that Google's gonna look at favorably. Now, when we are creating ad copy, now there's generative AI tools coming out um, inside Google now. Um, and at the time of this recording, Gemini Ultra was just released today. So that will be interesting to see how all that pans out, how it compares with GPT. But at this stage, I'm using GPT-4 plus. Um, and in this example, I'm going to show you how to use the Cloud Natural Language Tool um, and ChatGPT to create more copy ideas, add ideas, so that you can have uh, with a view of improving click-through rate and conversion rate in your ad copy. Now, in this example, I'm just going to use Solutions 8. I'm just going to grab all the copy that's on our homepage, come into the Natural Language Tool under Demo. You'll see here it says Try the API. I just paste everything in there. Hit it, run it, it then outputs all this gobbledygook and sentiment. I want to click on the sentiment tab and you'll see here that anything green has a positive sentiment, which is Google's natural language tool, uh, its API saying the, this copy is deemed positive. Google likes positive sentiment in ad copy. So I've gone through and I've just copied everything that's green and I have this document here now, a text document. Then what I do is I've created a prompt. I come over to ChatGPT and I go to GPT-4. Now, what I like to use is a GPT, um, a, a, an actual GPT. And there's a, there's a, there's two I like to play with. One's called Professor Synapse, one's called Super Synapse. Now it's made by, um, these guys over at Synapse Labs. Uh, I actually like using these GPTs because it acts sort of like a bot or an agent. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click start, fire up the Super Synapse and away it will go. Now I'll let it do its thing. But what I've done is I've created this prompt and um, so in this, I've got, I want you to act as an expert at Google as copywriter. You have been conversed with Google as a copywriter for 20 years. You utilize the styles of legendary copywriters. Now you're probably wondering why did I put these things around the, that word? Um, ChatGPT or any large language model likes to use Markdown. Now Markdown is like a simple, simplified version of HTML and you'll see that headings are determined with these hashtags. Lists are done like that, bullets like that, and bolding is done like this. So there's two stars, asterisks either side. So I've bolded that to make ChatGPT aware that this is important. Um, from a HTML perspective, if you wrap some words in a HTML tag with bold um, or str, I think it's str, anyway, either way, the um, search engines determine based on the tags attached to keywords if something's important or you want it to pay attention to. So that's what I'm more or less doing. I'm telling ChatGPT this is important. Now, what I've done is I've got, I think there's 14 very famous copywriters that are renowned. Um, and then I prompted and said, I've grabbed copy from this website. I've given, I've told it, I've run the copy through the natural language dem demo, uh, looking for highly rated positive sentiment. Usually I'm using the copy like I want 15 headlines, four descriptions for each of the legendary copywriters. So I'm actually going to wrap that as well. So it is relevant. Um, each of those. And then this means 15 headlines for each, for the, fir for the first copy when asking until you moved to the next. Make sure you've got 15 headlines, four students for each legendary copywriter before moving on to the next legendary copywriter. Each headline uh, must be on its own line. Make sure they will high rate, high line seven, blah, blah, can you help me with the split? So then I, again, I use this. So this is a heading one tag. 
I'm going to copy this, come over to ChatGPT, paste that there. Now I'm going to grab all of this positive sentiment copy from our website. And then I'm just going to paste that under there. And then go. Now, what this is going to do, it'll say, it'll do a bit of analysis. Blah, blah, blah. And you can sort of see the interlock and like, as a, ah, that's a challenge, blah, blah, blah. This is how they've written this um, GPT. It's, it's giving you a Chris, we'll start with for David Ogilvy. So Ogilvy was um, the first legendary copywriter on the list there, David Ogilvy. So they've kicked off with that. Um, expand, da, da, da. So here's my 15 headlines. Now, I like this process and I like to have um, ChatGPT go through all of them because there's all different types of headlines that you can use in descriptions. Um, uh, please continue to the next one. So now it's going to say, sure, the next one should be Bill Burnback. The so this now it's going through each legendary copywriter and it is um, based on its its knowledge. It tells you what his style is like and it will then start writing copy around his, his style, okay? Um, and you essentially start getting a whole heap of different headlines and descriptions in different formats that you probably wouldn't even consider. Now, sometimes these are a little bit long. The headlines, you might just need to tweak them and adjust them. Same with the descriptions. They can go over 90 characters. But essentially what I want to do here now is I want to grab, uh, I want to grab these headlines. So I'm just going to grab another text document. And I'm going to grab all these headlines. And I'm going to grab these descriptions. Now, I've only done two. But ideally for this exercise, I would do all of the um, uh, legendary copywriters just so I can get different styles of copy and I can go through the headlines. I can go through the descriptions and go, mm, I like that. I like how that's worded all. That really encapsulates what I'm trying to get in ads. And you essentially you can have a massive repository of copy that you can refer to when you, you know, you split testing ads and copy. So I've just copied. Um, all that into a, into a text doc. What I'm going to do is um, copy all of that now, come into another version of here. I'm just going to paste all of that that I've just copied. Click Analyze. Now, this is probably what you'll get. It's analyzing. And what should happen is because we've given positive sentiment to chat GPT and it's created different styles of copy around these copywriters, we theoretically should get positive sentiment back from our copy. So that's why I'm running this test. For some reason, um, this tool is having SPAC attack. So I'm going to refresh the page. Let's start again. Under the demo. Yep. So I'll get, oops. Get rid of that. Paste in my copy uh, from ChatGPT. I'm not a robot. Uh, here we go. And we want to get the sentiment. And as you can see, oh, we got one there, one yellow one, but pretty well, most of the copy that we've got here is all green. So that's how you can do it with ChatGPT. Now to use GPT. 3.5 if you got the free version i find it's not as good but if i if i'm using gpt um and i'll put these links there's the github prompt so if you come over to super synapse this prompt is too long if you click on the prompt here you'll see um if i copy this and i come into chat gpt what i will want to do is add a custom instruction now the problem with this is you can only have up to 1500 characters. 
and the super synapse is 3,975. So that's why you can always use the um, professor synapse, which is synapse COR. If I copy that prompt, I can paste that in there, and that's actually too long itself. Oh, damn, they've made that longer. Okay, so if that's the case, what you'd want to do then, let me get back, I want to turn it off. Exit. So I, I don't have my custom instructions on at the moment. They're off. So all you need to do is grab the prompt, which I did there, and just paste it in there. And you're more or less, here it is, it starts. So you would do the same process. Like I said, um, it's hit and miss. It's very spasmodic. You don't get the same consistency with 3.5 as you do with 4. Um, but you can still get through it. You just sort of, it, and it's faster. It's way faster. So if I was to copy that uh, prompt, which is here, and then I'll put in the same copy from our Solutions 8 webpage homepage. You can see it's way quicker at doing the um, the headlines, but like all the descriptions, um, yes, yeah, continue to the next. So uh, there we go. Actually, whilst we're on here, and Bard has been upgraded. Actually, no, I'll save that for another video because I would like to run the. Um, a comparison between ChatGPT and Bard for copy. Either way, I um, hope you've enjoyed the video. We'll put links to uh, in, in the description below for the cloud natural language. Like I said, it's been around for a little while now. It's nothing new, but for those of you that don't or weren't aware of it, it's a great tool to use. Um, ideally, what I'd like to do is create our own um, GPT or external API tool that we can use um, plugging into Vertex, which is Google's natural language tool. Uh, in light of the fact that Bard Ultra was released today, I think apparently it's supposed to be a GPT-4 killer. Um, we'll be testing that just to see how that goes. But um, if this has been valuable, uh, please leave a like and comment in below. And if you've got any further questions about this tool or anything else, feel free to pop them through. Until next time, have a great day. Die. Bye. Hi, everyone. Uh, we're here to record our first ever video here for Solutions 8 to talk to you about Google Ads. We're going to be talking about ad copy specifically. My name is Carmen, and I am one of the client managers here. Hi, my name is Ash, and I'm one of the, uh, the copywriters. All right, so like I said earlier, we are going